Hey everyone, John with Simplice here, and in this quick start tutorial, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the Simplice backend, as well as get you started on using our visual page builder for the first time. All right, so right now I'm on the Simplice backend. Right away, you'll notice there's some links up top. Um, let's click the first one pages here. And as you would expect, this is the area where you would create pages for your website, such as an about page or your work or home page. Next up, we have projects. Now, projects are very similar to pages in that they use the same visual editor, uh, but they're meant for building out projects or case studies of your work, as the name would imply. Um, right now, we're seeing this message because we haven't created a project yet. Next, we have customize, and this is where you can customize things such as your site typography, add a custom navigation, and then lastly, you have the settings area for just general settings to your website. Let's jump over and create our first project here. So I'll hit this start creating button. I'll name it, let's name it my first project. I'll give it a type of work. And then I'll add a thumbnail which will be used for our portfolio grid. And I'll click add. And you can see now here we're in the Simply editor. So we have this area in the center for adding content, and then up top you have modules, and then you also have things such as the save button. Let's just go ahead and drag a text module, and let's place an image next to it. Um, if I highlight these, you'll see Simplice works on a 12 column grid, so I can just uh, drag to adjust the column sizings of each of these uh, columns. I'll add an image to this from my media library. There's an image on the page. And then I'll add another text module as a headline. And if I just highlight over this, I can add in my own content here. And let's give it a header formatting. I then am going to assign a custom font to this headline. And you'll see you can drag to adjust the sizing of the text as well as the line height. You can also adjust the letter spacing. Now this headline is a little too close to the paragraph below it. So what I'm going to do now is click that headline and it'll bring up the module styling. So here I can adjust the spacing. Um, you also have the option to add offsets if you wish. It's a little bit different than spacing. All right, so that's looking good. Um, let's add one more thing. Let's just add a, a button below all of this. So again, I'm going to just drag that onto the page. I'll input the label for the button here. Uh, we can set the alignment and adjust the padding values of the button. Um, and then I'll go back to styling and we'll add some vertical spacing there. And then I'm not really happy with how this all is aligning. So you have the option to adjust your column, but then you can also adjust the settings for the entire section that your content is contained in. So let's add some vertical spacing to our entire section. I'm going to assign it a background color. I'm going to choose to vertically align all the content in this section. And um, you can also adjust the grid sizings here with these options, but I'll just set it to the default. So now we have this really nice section that we built out in no time. So I'm actually going to just duplicate this entire section uh, because I want to reuse the same formattings and stylings. So here's the duplicated section. I'm going to drag to reorder the content. Uh, again, I'm just adjusting by dragging each column here. Um, and the spacing seems a little bit weird now. So what we're going to do is just add a spacer column. And what this does is just adds white space onto your page. I'm going to set it to a single one column value. And I'm going to do the same to our section below it. Okay, so let's go ahead and swap this image now that it's adjusted. All right, there is our new image. Now these sections are a little too visually similar, so let's break it up a little bit by assigning a new background color to this bottom section. Uh, from the section styles area, I'm gonna add a dark background color. 
Uh, but now our text isn't readable, so I'm going to highlight over it and I'm going to give it a light color, assign it some color here in the text editor. And that's looking better now. So let's see what this looks like live on our page. So I'm going to save the changes and then I'm going to hit this preview icon here. And it's going to give me a preview of how my page is looking. So it's looking really nice on the live page. I'm happy with how things are looking. Now one more thing we can do to add a really nice visual intro to this page is add a cover section. So I hit this cover option up top and you have some different presets to choose from. I'm just going to hit this page headline and I'm going to assign a background image. Uh, just something very nice and bold for the start of my page. You can see it's already built it out with this preset template. Um, and let's add a zoom cover effect. I'm going to highlight the text here, just give it some different formatting. Again, I'm just dragging to adjust the sizing. I'll save that out. And once again, I'm going to save my progress and just preview this new edition. All right, so now we have this nice cover section up top to serve as an introduction to our project. And now we have our first successfully created project. Now, lastly, I'd like to talk about how projects integrate in Simplice. Right here, I have this example homepage I've created and I've placed a portfolio grid module onto it. As you can see, it's created this nice grid containing my project thumbnails. If I click one of the thumbnails, I am then taken to that project's individual project page. And that's basically how projects work in Simplice. All right, so there you go. It's a very brief overview of how to get started in Simplice. You saw how quickly we were able to build out an entire project case study with no code necessary. So we're excited to see what you build next. And thank you for watching this video. Keep rocking with Simplice.